the nomination was really around uh, looking at data and looking at how data made sense to people. Uh, and what we did was that we looked at setting up a hub called the Equality Data Hub. The Equality Data Hub was data across the organisation. Uh, the data ranged from patient data to staff data uh, to demographics data as well. So the data really enables uh, the organisation and our senior leaders and our managers and our staff to look at how the demographics are changing within Sandwell and how they can deliver their services appropriate, appropriately uh, for our patients. It's a great platform uh, and, it's, and, it's, and it's doing really well. Uh, but the most important thing is that it's really having an impact on patient care and I think that's the key really. So what we're seeing now is that some of our leaders, some of our staff are from diverse backgrounds. Uh, and they represent the Sandwell Borough as well. So I think I think the staff in itself represent the borough. They have uh, ha have a commitment to the borough uh, because they have their own families here as well. So it's really about kind of creating that sense of family, creating that sense of unity as well. And I think that's what's happening within uh, Black Country Partnership and NHS Foundation Trust. Uh, you know, it is not just about our staff; it's about our patients, and we're really having an impact. And I think people always think about data as being very boring. It's not. It's it's really about looking at what impact that data has on the communities and the Equality Hub really has had an impact on that. If it was to win the Strategy Sector Award, that would be just brilliant. It, 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 it really kind of sent out a clear message. We have nurses working across the borough and especially in early intervention services, we have diverse nurses from all, all backgrounds. And I recently went into the team and we discussed this and the team was so dynamic. And they said, you know what, we want to help the emerging communities from within the borough to move forward and that, and that Equality Hub has really helped. So that's, I think, I think it'd be just great news for, for all of us if we did win that award. All the libraries in Sandwell do, do a lot of events, but especially in Tipton, we like to make the, the library the focal point of the community, a community hub really. So we put all sorts of groups on, ranging from groups, uh, preschool, we do story times, the teenagers are not left out, we've got PlayStation 4s, Xboxes. But for the older residents, um, and Tipton's one of the most deprived wards in the borough, um, so it's, it's looking for free events for people to come to. We started a programme of activities including our world famous Knit and Natter group now, which in the early days started with about five members and now on a good day there's about 30, during half terms about 35 and including in that group are um, an Algerian family where the, the children are homeschooled. So they come to the knitters for like a craft thing. Um, we do a cant and colour. Now cant is an old black country word for having a chat. So again, it's like the, um, the colour therapy really, where people can come in, share a cake, share a cup of tea, have a natter and colour in a picture. And it's as simple as that. Equality is something that the library service is all about really. We offer a welcome and friendly atmosphere. And I'd just like to say as well that a lot of the groups wouldn't be possible with the help of our, our volunteers. Now our youngest volunteer is 16 and our oldest volunteer is 85. So again, it's the spectrum. And the good thing is one of, one of them actually says it gives me a reason to get up in the morning and there's nothing finer as a library manager really to hear the community saying something like that. I must mention as well that uh, Betty Johnson, who's nominated it, is one of our greatest customers. She comes to all the events. Um, we did a, a local history on Saturday which attracted over 600 people and Betty was there serving tea, wiping up and also having a, a knit and natter with everybody really. There was a brick -a brack stall, she was serving on that, she was serving the cakes. And without our friends and volunteers, we wouldn't be able to put on a lot of these groups. So it's a big thank you to them as well. Our Albury uh, cadet volunteers are just amazing. Um, Graham, Katie, Paul, they give up their own time, you know, to come in and help with these um, these guys are cadets and just, you know, give them all their time, their attention. You know, it's um, sometimes really difficult to have a consistent approach and, and be available to them um, like our instructors and volunteers are. You know, every Wednesday they're here training with 
the West Midlands Fire Service crews that are on duty that day. Um, and they just do a great job in keeping the group together. They've been together quite a few years now. Um, and they're just going from strength to strength. Um, they even go on annual camps uh, in the summer, giving up their free time to take them away, um, you know, to get them all together in a bit of a holiday like type setting and give them some great experiences. So it's just fantastic. At the end of the day, the best reward is at the end of the session when the guys are perhaps really tired from a really brutal session that we've put them through or we've asked them to do something new that's been really difficult for them to pick up and they complete it and just the sense of, you know, pride that they've completed something um, and seeing the smiles on their faces, that's just, just the best thing. Obviously to win this award uh, would be fantastic and a, a, just a really big thank you to the volunteers and the instructors really, uh, for the guys and girls that do what they do um, in recognition, you know, for the commitment and effort that they put in. So um, yeah, to win would be amazing. Um, I'm sure the cadets would enjoy it too.